What is up everybody? Twitch streamer Brigo here, finally gracing you with my presence and making a video here on youtube.com. I hope you all been all right. I wanna apologize for the lack of content and I promise I'm gonna be uploading more going forward. But I figured what better way to come back from that little hiatus than to do another what I've been reading slash watching lately and giving y'all some recommendations. The last one did really well. It seemed like you guys wanted another one. I'll link the last one down below. Again, I'm just going through some stuff that I recommend you guys watch, what I've been watching slash reading lately. Old, new, seasonal, all that crap. Let's get started with some Mashal, Muscles, and Magic. It's a new manga, there's like 13 chapters out. It's available for free on Viz. If you're a Chad like me, you're gonna like it. The best way of describing it, in my opinion, is imagine Saitama, you know, the one punch man. The dude that would kick Goku's ass low diff. Can't wait to read the comments after saying that. But yeah, picture Saitama, you know, the one punch man in the world of like Black Clover slash Harry Potter. It follows the story of our main man, Mashal. This dude is a Chad. He works out, he's strong, but he lives in a world where magic is everything, even more than Black Clover. Because in Black Clover, if you can't use magic or you have very little magic, you're just gonna be poor, probably be like a farmer or something, and most likely have a hard and difficult life. But yeah, in the world of martial muscles and magic, if you're born without magic, you are killed. You, they want to prevent your genes from passing on to the next generation. And that's where our boy Mashal comes in, the absolute Chad lad. I've said Chad a lot of times already in this video, but he is. He is a dude bored without magic, and unlike Asta, who did work out a lot to be able to wield that anti-magic sword, he isn't given an anti-magic sword. Remember, I compared him to Saitama. He is the type of guy where if you give him a wand, he throws it like a dagger at your face. If he ends up joining a magic academy and they had to obviously like ride brooms and stuff. I said I compared it to the world of Harry Potter. There are so many Harry Potter references. But yeah, they had to ride a broomstick. So rather than, you know, he can't use magic. He can't do it. He grabs the broom. He chucks it. He jumps on it. And the force he creates between the throw and his jump, he sets world records. It's actually so funny. But like in the middle of a fight, he'll like get down to a runner stance. Say hamstring magic. And then the enemy is like pondering. He's like, what is that spell? I've never heard of that spell before. Meanwhile, he just fast as fuck boy. Like this guy is hilarious. There's like this dude in the first chapter that could like has slain dragons and stuff with his magic. And this guy's just tapping his magic away with his Chadly abilities. It makes no sense, but it is hilarious. I highly, highly recommend it. The next thing that I recommend you read is Solo Leveling, which is a webtoon, a manhwa from Korea. Now, going into this, you have to realize that this series is all about the hype moments, the fights, and our main protagonist. The series really doesn't go beyond that. It doesn't have a lot of depth, but the things that it does right, it does really, really well. So it follows the story of our boy Sung Jin Woo, who starts off as this Kenichi Shirahama, Izuku Midoriya little bitch boy. But as the series goes on, he goes into what I would like to call a fucking Chad lad. So basically in this world, there are these things called gates that appear that have monsters inside. And if the monsters aren't killed, eventually they will leave the gate and wreak havoc on society. But at the same time the gates appeared, they were humans that are now called hunters that were given these magic powers. And these powers are very similar to the basic classes in MMORPGs. You know, fighter, assassin, mage, etc. And the hunters are ranked from like S, A, all the way down to D or E. And our protagonist, Sung Jing Wu, is the lowest of the ranks. And once you are given a rank in this series, Usually, your rank does not change. The power you were assessed to have will stay the same. You could gain some experience and maybe get a little bit physically stronger, but overall, what rank you're given ends up being the rank you most likely have for the rest of your life. However, Sun Jin Wu is different. He ends up acquiring a power that allows him to level up, hence the name Solo Leveling. He actually really does end up being like a character in an MMORPG, where as you gain experience, as you uh, take out monsters or enemies, you level up. And this man goes from a uh, Izuku Midoriya to a Meliodas-esque character. And I think that's a good comparison because obviously he increases in strength a lot. But one of my favorite things about this character is his personality changes too. He starts to lose his sense of morality 
and he starts to change. His entire presence is different, confidence-wise, of course. He slowly turns into a completely different person. Again, this series is all about the hype fights, the hype moments, and our protagonist. If you go into the series expecting that, that's what you're gonna get. And I do recommend you give this series a read. Those are my main two recommendations for this video. However, I have recently started reading Records of Ragnarok, which is another Chadley series. It's pretty much a tournament to decide the fate of Earth and humanity. And this tournament takes place between literal gods and humans. And I've only read like three chapters, but I, my interest is caught. I don't know if it's going to end up being good, but I am going to be reading it live on twitch.tv slash beastly briggs. Speaking of twitch.tv slash beastly briggs, I stream like 100 hours, a little bit of a self-promotion right now. I said I was going to read Tower of God, but I'm actually going to read Tower of God after I finish Records of Ragnarok. So yeah, definitely give me a follow. I play a bunch of games with all the boys, Nux Taku, Too Spooky, the anime dude. We talk anime, it's a lot of fun. The next anime I want to talk about is Bofudi. I talked about this in my last video, but I did finish it. It's a cute, wholesome anime. It's not amazing, but I did really enjoy it. The vibe, the energy it gave off was just fun and it was just a very easy anime to ingest. It's about this girl, it's her first time playing a VMMORPG, it's ridiculous, it's over the top, she ends up becoming very overpowered and exploiting rules and items within the game to her advantage, but also it's just really fun watching her fall in love with video games for the first time. And if you're a gamer, you could definitely appreciate the fun that these characters have within this game. And being a gamer myself, and if you are a gamer, <laughs> gamer time boys, and being a gamer myself, and if you're a gamer as well, you'll definitely appreciate the fun that they have within this interesting game and world. I recently read Chainsaw Man. I thought it was all right. It wasn't amazing. It's about this guy who could literally turn into a chainsaw and kills demons. The best part about the series is the character interactions. They're definitely intriguing and it does have some cool fights. Again, not amazing, but I do think it's worth a read. If you like the protagonist, I think you're gonna like the series. I, I say give it a couple chapters and see what you think. It's again available on Viz. I love Viz, great service. Not sponsored by the way, genuinely just like their service and I use it all the time. What do I plan on watching going forwards? I wanna finish Ahiro no Soda, which is a basketball anime that I fell in love with. It's amazing. I want to watch the new season of Haikyuu. I can't believe I haven't watched that yet. Haikyuu being like my third favorite sports anime of all time. It's a volleyball anime. I'm sure you know it by now. I highly recommend it. What else? Um, I've been rewatching Kenichi again. Kenichi is my favorite anime of all time. Favorite anime of all time. Take that in. Not favorite sports anime. Not favorite martial arts anime. Favorite anime of all time. One Piece being my favorite manga. So if you've learned anything from this video, you should definitely watch Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. Um, it's amazing. It follows the story of Kenichi Shirahama, a weak protagonist with no confidence. And you watch him grow in strength, achieve his dreams, chase his dream girl, gain confidence, and um, become the strongest disciple in martial arts. It's hilarious, it's got cool fight scenes, and I want to emphasize it's hilarious. Probably the funniest anime I've ever watched. Now, another thing, read One Piece. You're, this is a quarantine. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat right now, it's because I haven't gotten a haircut in four months, and I just woke up and it looks like shit. But also, you know how much time we have? Dude, this is, if you've ever, if there was ever a time in your life to read One Piece, now is the time. You can do this, I believe in you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanna play a few Twitch clips and highlights from my streams. Um, definitely give me a follow on Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next video. Shin Paku. Shoot up. Oh, we got nade. Oh crap, hook's down. Oh, that was beautiful. Someone fucking clip that. How's that feel, Gibraltar? He just left the game, that's how cheap. The 38 on purple. I feel like they're just sitting there waiting because they knew. Got two. Nice. Got three. Let's go. Full squad, baby. <laughs> Get One. fucked, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Us. I'm gonna go inside here. Um, I, oh fuck, oh. someone just dropped down next to me, they got gold armor, fuck, I was recharging my shields, but then they fucking just popped down in front of me and lit me up. I'm so sorry, I've been taking down. Yeah, yeah, there might be people near it, but it's, yeah. It's okay, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna try to get you. Yeah, there's only one other spot, isn't it, and it's the ones that's gonna be nearby here. No, I think we're good. Oh, heard and dropped five subs. 
Thank, Thank you, you sir. so much. Okay. I'm gonna dip. Good luck trying to get your stuff back. Oh, I see them pushing. Okay. Uh, I have confidence that you're able to walk on you to them. Uh, I'm still not out of the ship. Got one. For ex okay, okay. Uh, I don't have any stuff. Is that the one that's down? Oh, I downed one? I think he got back up. Got him. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> Yellow, I'm back. I'm in a little bit of a rush. What the hell is going on with my hair? Um, <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a rush right now because I'm about to start a stream and then I have a podcast today. So if you're watching this, I am live right now. Twitch.tv slash BC Briggs. Link down below. But now I want to give a super large thank you to all my patrons. Y'all are awesome. We're actually very close to hitting my uh, $500 goal. To the $2 tier, thank you, the Magikarp guy, Siren, RTL Faith, Codex, Bougie Alpaca, McMonga, King Ocelot, Moggy, Maggie, my bad, Joel Godinez, Michelle Moria, Raphael, Kaido, Steven, Ophir, Kakashali, KT, Maddie Ice Cream, Miguel, Zodi Art. I should say a thank you to my $10 tier. Oh, that was my $5 tier too. I already fucked up. A big thank you to my $10 tier, nothing but a fan, Johnny Boy Draws, I Cry During Sex, Wicked Joker, Cricket XP, Jay Kasumi, Shelly, Kalista, Kaiser Runar, Terror Shift, Gamer, Yeah Boy Shinji, Soul Slayer, Jake Min, Greg, Jessica, King Zeldris, Elizabeth, Dusty, McFlan, Ashton, Langert, and Ginkgo Taku. Thank you to my $25 tier of Steelers, Rusty Lee, Mori, Chara, Trey, Future Mech, The, Weebo the Weebology, and Some Guy 9393. Y'all are awesome and I appreciate it so much. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next video. I will be trying to upload more Shimpaku, and I will see you all live on stream. Hopefully in chat, you guys could say hi. I'm gonna say hi back. It'll be it'll be fun. I'm probably I think I'm reading One Piece right now, but usually I play a lot of Apex and stuff like that. I gotta stop rambling, rambling, rambling. Bye.